Okay, let's just have a quick look on the PC that we're going to use for this build. I have, of course, the two graphic cards. I have 32 gigs of memory. I have two SSD drives. Uh, I recommend having two of those since you will be loading two operating systems at once. So you will have a lot of I.O. activity and by having two drives you can split the load on your SATA ports. I have a triple monitor set up and the silver monitor is connected straight to the onboard graphics for the server itself. Um, I have two black monitors here. They are connected to each graphic card for the virtual machines. And I have a PC here for the setup via the web interface of the server. Um, you just need a regular PC that can access a web browser um, and is on the same network as the server. That will do just fine. Um, I have a Dell keyboard, Microsoft mouse, Corsair keyboard, Logitech mouse. It has to be different brands, so that's what will work for this setup. First step is to find a USB pin with no crucial data on it. We need to format it, go to the file explorer and right click it, format, rename the USB pin on rate, capital letters and format it as a FAT32 drive. Hit start, okay. Once it's complete, open up your web browser and head for limetechnology.com. Go to download and download the recent version of the OS. Save. And once it's complete, you want to unzip the files. Take all the files and send them to your USB pin. Okay, open up the, the USB. And there's a file named make bootable. Right click that and run it as administrator. Hit any key to continue. Okay, done. And that's it. Now the USB is bootable. Okay, in the BIOS of the PC, we need to set up a few things. Go to your integrated graphic configuration. Set it to the integrated graphic adapter as the primary adapter. And go back. We need to find the CPU feature section where we'll enable Intel Virtualization Tech and Intel VTD Tech. It's important those are enabled. Go back and save your settings, restart the PC, and you can boot off of the USB we just created. Now take your second PC and access the web browser. Type in tower in the search field to access the server. This is the configuration page for the hard drives, and I'll choose my SSD drives as disk 1 and 2. Hit start and it will prompt us to format the drives. Um, set a check mark in format and format the drives. Okay. Once formatted you want to go to tools and hit system devices. Now look for your VGA adapters and note the number at the, the, the end of it. I have one here and another one here. Um, now look into IOMMU groups 
and see if they are the same groups. If they are the same groups, you're good to go because then your system is like mine and you just need to follow my setup here. Okay, go to users and I recommend setting up a password if you want. Now go to shares, add share, type in ISO, leave the rest default and OK, apply, done. Now add another share and call it VDiscs. Press Add Share and export to No and Done. Go back to your main screen and start the array. Hit Settings, go to Network Settings set up bridge yes and that's it apply go back to settings go to vm manager and now we are prompted to start our array before we can start that so go back to main and start the array go back to settings vm manager and enable vms set it to yes and default network bridge set it to BR0 PCIe ACS override you want to enable that set it to yes apply and then we need to reboot the server for changes to take effect okay we'll do that go to main and stop the array Okay, the array has stopped. Press reboot. Rebooting. Once rebooted, you want to start the array. Go to VMs and add VM. Now type in a name for your first virtual machine. I'll call it player1 and assign the cores you want to use for this VM. I'll give it 12.8 gigabyte of RAM. Now click the Vert IO drivers ISO. And the fourth link from the top, you need to download that. Click it. Hit save. Yep. Once downloaded, you want to copy both that, that ISO and the Windows install ISO to your tower. Go to start backslash backslash tower and go to the ISO folder and simply drag and drop in, into the network share. Okay. Go back to the setup page and point out the Windows install ISO, uses ISOs, and point out your Vert IO drivers ISO. Primary VDisk location should be uses VDisks, and primary VDisk size is in my case 110G. Select your graphic adapter and sound card. Choose your desired USB devices for this machine and create. Now let's create the other machine. Type in a name, in my case player2 and choose the available cores we have left. 
um, choose amount of RAM and again same procedure with the ISOs okay primary VDisk location and the size 110 G now choose the other graphic adapter and the other sound card that we have left and the USB devices and create okay you're now ready to go let's um, boot up the machines by right clicking and start Okay, and the install will start soon. Accept terms, use user defined setup, and load driver. Press browse. Go to your Word IO Win driver. Go to Vio Store. Select your Windows version. In my case, Windows 10, AMD 64 bit. Press next. And you should see your drive coming up on the list. Press next to install Windows on it. Okay, type in a name. I'll type in player one. Hit next. Okay, once we're in Windows, there are some drivers that we need to install. Go to your device manager and right click properties, update driver, hit browse and browse. Go to your Word IO Win, select that, click OK, click next and install and do that to the rest of the devices missing okay the last one and we should be good to go now the virtual machine only needs to have a install the graphic driver now you can download it either from AMD or Nvidia depending on which graphic card you have um, so there you have it it should be working now thank you for watching and goodbye